a lot of antibiotics are being used as growth promoters in farm animals and poultry and this has been on for a long time in most cases these antibiotic growth promoters are mostly used in intensive system of farming these antibiotic growth promoters also improve feed conversion and animal growth and also reduce morbidity and mortality due to the clinical and subclinical diseases though there are several antibiotic growth promoters that have been banned from use in animal production but there are still some few ones which are safe for use and you can get them from the vet shop these and some other important tips i will unveil in this video the first and the last one are very effective as i have used them in time past most of my people and welcome to life of a farmer loaf you can also follow me on my facebook page at life of a farmer loaf for regular updates i remain your anchor ishokri of okiroin you can call me over us on this channel we discuss farming in details how to grow your farm challenges faced by farmers and how to control them so ensure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever i upload a new video don't forget to give this video a like comment and most importantly share for others to benefit without wasting your time let's dive into the main cocoa of a truth antibiotic growth promoters and non-antibiotic growth promoters work in several ways and this is based on the fact that when you introduce these growth promoters via feed or water the nutrients in the feed is protected against bacterial destruction and absorption of nutrients is improved because of the thinning of the small intestinal barrier another way is that the antibiotics decrease the production of toxins by intestinal bacteria and this will lead to a reduction in the incidence of subclinical intestinal infection the use of antibiotics as feed additives has been on for a long time in animal husbandry and there has also been a lot of criticism in the use till date before now all antibiotics were allowed to be used although some did not enhance or improve growth and many were too expensive it became a concern its frequent use as treatment and for growth promotion could lead to a problem of increasing resistance in bacteria of human and animals particularly regarding resistance in gram negative bacteria such as the salmonella species and the escherichia coli because of this incident now there have to be a kind of restriction for the use of antibiotics growth promoters in animals so for any antibiotics to be used it must then meet certain criteria that is deemed safe for both the animals and humans and it include one make a significant economic difference in the raising of livestock then two it must have little or no application as therapeutic agent in our in humans or animals and three the antibiotic growth promoters do not impair the efficacy of a prescribed therapeutic drug during the development of resistant strain so it was on this basis that most of these antibiotics were banned in developed countries and for it to be used in developing or underdeveloped countries certain criteria have to be met and that is why if you buy some of these antibiotics for your animals you will see on it the withdrawal period from slaughter and animal species in which the product may be used and also for it to be approved for use it must meet certain standard and some of the standard include that they must have favorable effect on livestock production they should not endanger animal or human health their nature and level must be controllable the levels included should not reach those intended for treating or preventing animal disease and they should not be in use for medical or veterinary purposes and that is why the use of drugs such as penicillin tetracyclines tylosine and sulfonamide as growth promoters are banned in developed countries based on this i will list some antibiotics that are approved for use as at the time of uploading this video which do not have any side effect on either man or animals and they act as growth promoters 
The first on my list is Inoform antibiotics. Most Inoform antibiotics are produced by streptomycin species. I have used this monocin in the time past. Though I used it as a feed additive for control of coccidiosis, it was very effective. It is used as feed additives. Once you include it in your feed during feed processing as an additive, you must not give your beds other coccidiosis drugs such as any sulfur drugs and erythromycin. Only monacin, which is used in bovines, and salinomycin, which is used in pigs, are effectively registered as growth promoters. The other registered inophores can be used in poultry feed as coccidiostats. The second drug is erythromycin. Erythromycin is an alpha mycin antibiotics. It is used solely as growth promoter. However, its usage has been very limited. Erythromycin inhibits bacterial growth. The product is inactive against gram-negative bacteria because it cannot penetrate the cell. Another antibiotic growth promoter I want to talk about is the conozolins, and this is the carbadox and olaquidox. They are synthetic antibacterials that act by inhibiting DNA synthesis. They are active mainly against gram-negative bacteria. Although these quinozolins sometimes are regarded as growth promoters, but they are mainly used in the prevention of swine dysentery, so I'm not going to dwell more on it. The last antibiotic growth promoter I want to discuss about is bacitracin. Bacitracin is active mainly against gram-positive bacteria. Although many differences exist among the bacteria species, its antibacterial spectrum is similar to that of the antibiotics of the penicillin group. All bacitracin are nephrotoxic when administered parentally. They are absorbed very little or not at all from the intestine when demonstrated for rats, swine and chickens. Because of this, no residues can be found in meat when the product is administered orally. You now see that these antibiotics are safe for use and if you can lay your hand in any of them, they will improve the gut health of your beds, prevent disease, and also improve performance in the form of growth promoters. So if you are looking for any antibiotic growth promoters, you should look out for bacitracin, monacin, and erythromycin. These are very good antibiotic growth promoters that you can use and be rest assured that there is no side effect either to your animals or to you as a human. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a like, comment and most importantly share for others to benefit. You can also use the end screen showing right now to watch other interesting videos. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.